Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Rui Huang from MD Linux GPU team and focus on the multi components uh, in the Linux kernel, including their MD GPU DIM, graphics, compute support, many years. And I'm very happy uh, being here uh, again at the second time since 2019. And it's my great honor to have an opportunity to talk about the Zen based GPU virtualization. Uh, with virtual I.O. and pass through here to all of you. And these are the team members uh, who are working uh, on these solutions. We are the global Linux team and from different countries such as the, um, China, Euro, and North America. And also thanks for support from Calabra and to work together with us to implementing the solution. And today, I would like to go through for share, uh, sharing uh, with the overall design and the implementation of these solutions. Uh, in fact, uh, it is a long time since we prepared the solution at the middle of last year. And there are multiple components, uh, including the Linux kernel, Zen, QMU, uh, Mesa, and the virtual render. Then we start to upstream at the first version uh, in March of this year. And we spent quite a few months uh, to resolve the issues uh, to support QMU and Zen. Mm, but some of them are fixed by workaround and still not root cause yet. Uh, so I'm working on upstream and on the QMU part for which I will give you these days. And next step, we will continue upstream the Zen specific functions. And uh, we are welcome uh, if you have uh, any review comments for us. And please feel free to interrupt me if you have any questions. Okay, move to the intention. We are working uh, to deliver the support for the automotive infotainment system. And you know, we already have a complete graphics on the bare metal platforms in the existing automotive system. In that system, uh, we have the open source uh, graphics libraries, including the OpenGL, Vulkan support uh, with native dri uh, AMD GPU Mesa drivers, such as the ReadySI and the Red Wii for the production. However, the bare metal solution cannot be fully satisfy the needs of the modern automotive system because of the requirements from the multiple system in one car. So we are designing the, and developing the Zen-based GPU virtualization right now. You know, Zen uh, is one of the most uh, popular hypervisors in the world, and it is widely used by the automotive system and the embedded platforms. And we are also developing the 3D graphics and multimedia hardware accelerations for MD GPU and the APUs. And this is the existing situations uh, of the GPU virtualization on Zen. The, the virtual IO GPU is uh, the design to uh, emulate hardware device in the QMU. And this can be in enabled on the Zen platforms, but only in the Virgil. Uh, uh, you know, the virtual is the open geo support for the trial GPU. And this support uh, is not even fully verified yet on Zen. So because we still find uh, quite a few issues on existing virtual support and uh, the main gaps uh, is there is no Vulkan uh, with virtual GPU on Zen platforms. And the graphic support cannot without Zen, you know. And there's an MD GPU uh, from here, uh, MD GPU uh, is also enable uh, the support, uh, the Zen PV DOM0 at this moment. And the PV is using the software IoTRB for DMA operations for all the PCI device, including the MD GPU. However, in GPU user scenarios, we have uh, so many large buffer uh, mapping, uh, you know, like the megabytes and gigabytes on the device. The software IoTRB is only it can only handle the buffer page by page. Uh, you know it is not uh, suitable for the GPU user case right now. And current PCIe pass through is only supported by the uh, PV DOM zero at at, a, at CPUs. Uh, we all know the GPU pass through is very popular use case and for the virtualization, but it's only able to be mapped into the one gas VM. So above current, uh, above are the current situations of GPU virtualizations on Zen. 
Okay, then we design and implemented the new proposal to improve the GPU virtualization according to the shortage um, on them one by one. Uh, in graphics stack, we are improving the OpenGL support uh, in the guess we don't use, uh, which is resolved the issues during the each graphics test case. And the more important step is to add Vulkan support uh, in the guest domain. Uh, you know, uh, we need to enable the Vulkan driver for virtual GPU. Originally, we enabled the VNAS, and which developed by Google and used for the cross VM before. And uh, the Krabra uh, pulled the changes from cross VM into the QMU uh, on KVM, uh, but it's not upstream yet. So we leverage the implementation and the design to put it into the Zen platforms. And we resolve quite a few problems and uh, finally get it work on Zen right now. Uh, we can run the most of graphics applications and benchmarks and Steam games right now. And, and uh, we also are working on enabling the new uh, virtual native context of, uh, solutions on MD GPU recently. And to address the um, Zen software IoTRB uh, usage uh, problem on, on GPU uh, as discussion with the uh, Zen maintainers, uh, we decided to use the PVH DOM0 for MD GPU at S, uh, x86 processors. And at the same time, we add uh, the new support for PCIe pass-through function on the PVH DOM0. Our target is to support MD GPU device in the back end. So in one guess, we can have two types of GPU support. One is virtual GPU, another is pass-through GPU. Uh, we, we also can configure uh, two virtual GPU as well. And uh, Julia from my team uh, will have a light talk tomorrow to introduce the DGP Prime work on the VM uh, for uh, the transaction between the two GPUs. Okay, let's talk about GPU pass-through on PVH DOM0. In fact, there is a no pass-through support on Zen PVH DOM0. We are leverage the QMU to implement it, uh, the PCIe pass-through. You know, our intention is to pass through the whole discrete GPU device into one guest DOM U. We compare the pass-through support on the PV DOM0. There is still use the kernel Zen PCI back driver and attached device of GPU in DOM0. You know, uh, it is to avoid uh, the GPU device is attached uh, by the native MD GPU driver and use setup GSI and PCI device reset, memory mappings, hypervisor cores, and to transfer, uh, transfer the request to uh, DOM U, then bring up the uh, the Zen uh, pass-through functions to map the PCI config space register range uh, and uh, interrupt IRQs. And this is assigned to the PCI device to one uh, guest VM, and then the P, uh, MD GPU PCI device can be shown in the guest DOM U to enable the graphics driver stack layer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to introduce the similar video memory, uh, you know, the VRAM star for the virtual GPU uh, in HVM configuration. We are reserving a piece of host memory uh, window here in the kernel virtual IO DIM driver. And there is one more large MMIO bar in the guest, which we reserve for guest MSR, uh, OpenGL and Vulkan driver use directory. Uh, in host, a QMU. We expect to use the QMU Bob operations functions such as the create map and the implemented uh, uh, direct mapping uh, into the host shared memory and the DME bar. The shared memory, you know, is the host CPU system memories, and the DME bar is the memory we will use for the host GPU access, uh, including the real uh, video memory and the system memory. However, we can um, we found uh, some issues in the QMU for Zen. Uh, it's not deal with, uh, it's not real uh, the direct mapping. Uh, we are using the workaround and implementing the pinning buffer address translation for QMU on Zen. Yeah. And uh, please look at the picture. Mm, the Bob memory uh, would like to have. Uh, 
provide host memory directly access in the guest uh, instead of use command transfer to write memory data. The guest kernel exposes a MMO bar in the PCI config space uh, for Bob memory. Guest Mesa can allocate one buffer object, then the host QMU can create and map a real virtual IO GPU resource and to indicate the guest buffer. And then the QMU can get the host virtual address in the virtual render uh, with the MMAP system core, uh, which is exposed by the MD GPU DMA bar. However, the host virtual address is not enough for ZEM hypervisor, that different with KVM. Uh, ZEM has to convert the host virtual address to the physical frame buffer number and the map is in the guest uh, physical frame buffer with the hypervisor core. Um, it, it is because the Zen is different with KVM. The DOM zero's fix physical address is not a real physical address in the Zen platforms. The real physical address has to be translated by the EPT table uh, in the Zen hypervisor so far. Uh, this is designed only can be used for the painting buffer and uh, it is the challenger to dig out the method uh, to support the eviction uh, in the whole site. And uh, this is the next step for us uh, to completely resolve this problem. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the flow of uh, Virgil and Venus on Zen. Uh, virtual GPU can support hardware accelerations in the software view and is using the uh, QMU and the emulate uh, virtual GPU uh, for the guest on you and the virtual IO PCIe driver were attached to virtual IO GPU in uh, PCIe virtual device and load uh, the kernel uh, uh, virtual IO DIM driver and the virtual IO GPU device is emulated at uh, virtual IO bars and, and then uh, the user space implemented OpenGL, uh, you know, uh, the Virgil and Venus driver for the virtual, uh, for the virtual GPU and any GPU uh, operations uh, will be wrapped by the uh, virtual GPU command and to issue the, to the host QMU. The QMU will use uh, virtual, uh, virtual render command to separate different contexts from the Virgil or Venus. Then the two contexts will assess the host mass open geo and uh, Vulkan. Uh, uh, you know, our host uh, dr mass driver is reading SI and the red V for MD GPU. Um, uh, with the GL and VK functions. And this time we bring up the Vina support on Zen to integrate in the, uh, the whole Bob memory support on QMU. And let's move to the virtual IO uh, video support. Our video support is different with the virtual IO video spec. And uh, in traditional uh, uh, virtual IO video is leveraged with 4 l 2 framework to implement it our independent virtual, uh, virtual video device uh, at, in the guest VM. However, uh, we are different with it because in MD, the video device hardware the engine is inside of GPU. So we leveraged VAPI from end in the MESA and implemented the video hardware uh, virtualization established uh, in the Virgil, uh, the OpenGL driver uh, for virtual GPU. And uh, yeah, right now uh, we are working on developing the virtual IO native context uh, with MD GPU on Zen at this moment. This design is uh, initialized by Rob Clark at the last XDC on Chrome system. Um, they are using the new native context method to forward the native LibDI API to the guest method directly with virtual render. And with this way, uh, we can use native Mesa driver instead of Virgil and Venus. It, it is more straightforward and performance way. Uh, we are leverage layer design and the Pierrick uh, from MD has implemented uh, the MD GPU backend uh, for the native context solutions. With this approach, uh, we won't need a Mesa running on the host DOM zero anymore. So we can have a faster and the more simple transaction between the host and the guest VM, named the Virgil and Venus. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is the, um, the, the performance data we will see 
uh, the OpenGL uh, is much faster, and it, it, about 10% named the Virgil. And uh, uh, Venus, uh, uh, from Vulcan side, the native content is also over 10% named the Venus. Yeah. And the last, v, uh, you know, the GPU is not only used for the graphics area. The more important user scenario for GPU is compute support in AI and machine learning uh, uh, world in the automotive ma uh, market. So we design approach to enable MD Rockon compute stack at the gas VM uh, with virtual IO and the name we will have uh, open CO support based on the Rockon uh, uh, with the virtual IO native context solutions. We were forwarding the sunk APIs uh, with the virtual IO native context solutions. And we are forwarding the um, and we will add the virtual IO backend into the rock on runtime to support op uh, open seal applications in the up layer. Okay, uh, next step, we are working on the upstream for the whole solutions and we need for graphics uh, benchmark and uh, we will provide the formal solutions complete resolve the uh, direct mapping issues at the last and we will continue implementing the Rockon stack for GasVM to support AI applications. Okay, and uh, this, uh, this is the reference for us. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, okay, I have a couple questions. Uh, uh, first, this virtualization approach, is it just to give um, one guest access to the GPU or is it about sharing the GPU between multiple guests? Oh, multiple guests. Multiple we will have uh, three guests. Actually, one is AGL uh, for automotive Linux, mm -hmm. great Linux. Another is Android. And uh, the third is uh, Ubuntu. In the Ubuntu guest, we will have uh, one virtual IO GPU. We may have uh, uh, we can configure it to support one virtual GPU and uh, pass-through GPU or two virtual GPU in one guest. Okay, uh, my next question is, um, is this virtualization approach designed to meet any of the like ISO 26262 um, isolation requirements for software or for um, the different, you know, so uh, guests using the, the same piece of hardware? Or is this not like a, a safety use case at all? Uh, so far, we uh, uh, this is prototyping, and we didn't consider about saving, you know, the function saving uh, case at this moment, and maybe ne next step. Because you know, w the reason we choose the Zen hypervisor is because the Zen have a more safe uh, the function, uh, the security features than the KVM. So maybe next step, we will consider about. The uh, function safety support, uh, even in the graphic side. Okay. Okay. And then the last question I have is, uh, in your uh, testing, have you done any testing on how, um, like, uh, a fault caused by one of the guests, how that can affect other guests? Like, say, for example, going back to uh, Tony's uh, talk on GP resets, like how uh, uh, one guest re causing a GP reset will affect the other guests. Um, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Actually, we, uh, we, we didn't consider this complex user scenario at this moment because this is the prototyping and uh, yeah, we are, we, in next step we will do more uh, testing, you know, for stress, we will trigger the GPU harm and uh, for GPU reset uh, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, if we choose the native context uh, uh, solution, actually each guest VM will be one thread. Actually, they we can do the GPU set uh, separately. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have the question of uh, the the GPU pass through uh, for each. E for each case, the, sp the space is reserved or is shared memory? Sorry? In, in Shengram, uh, in the Sheng hypervisor, when you use the configure the RAM for the users, you have to mark it as shared or uh, res a reserved, for example, 40, 100 megabytes until yeah. 
four gigas. It's the same with the GP pass through. Oh, uh, GP pass through is uh, actually the four gigabytes is for the host memory. We can con uh, configure for the uh, the Bob memory and to guess VM and the GPU pass through is different. We we will pass through the whole GPU in the guest domain. So if the if it is a discrete GPU, they have a eight gigabytes. Then we will pass through the whole gigabytes video memory in the guest. Yes, but doesn't that does not conflict with multiple users in the GPU because they? Yeah, yeah, l yeah. L l that's a good question because we are uh, and uh, Julia will have a a light talk about uh, how to. Can uh, to to transfer the different uh, the G GPU resource between the pass through DTPU and the virtual GPU. That we can we can use virtual GPU in for display and the pass through DTPU for rendering. Then we can show uh, the buffer resource in the guest method. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Uh, do you have DOM D in the roadmap? Sorry? DOM D support? The, the DOM D support. DOM D. It's for running the, the drivers of the, that normally run on DOM 0 oh. in, in a different domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the guest, we will call it DOM U, and we will have three DOM, uh, DOM. one DOM, DOM 1, DOM 2, DOM 3. And in the host side, we will call it DOM0. Uh, DOM0 is a hoster uh, in the hypervisor, so, uh, you know. Yes, but there's DOMD uh, support, which allows you to run different drivers in different host domains, so you can isolate between them. Is there any support for that? Is that on the roadmap? Mm, sorry, <laughs> maybe we, we, we can talk offline. <laughs> And okay. Dom yeah. Um, so uh, Intel has um, uh, GVTG for mediated pass through. So is this com uh, does this compare to the same technology or uh, is this? Uh, uh, yeah. It's not medium pass through. It's it is it, it, the pass through directly because we can all we, we will have a two GPU in the back end. One is I GPU, another is. Uh, this way, GPU. Oh, this way, GPU. Okay, okay. okay. Totally pass through in one guest. That's great. Yeah. One guest VM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, actually, we are uh, for multiple uh, GPU, multiple uh, guest VM support, we will use virtual IO GPU. Yeah. Then we will go with native context and to support uh, the virtual IO GPU in each guest VM, guest DOM U. Yeah. Okay. Uh, understood. Thanks. Any other questions? Okay, thank you.